Hello everyone and welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we are talking about pen storage. Last time in the pen maintenance video land, um, I told you all how to clean your pens, um, kind of take care of them that way once you're using them. But what do you do with them once you have more than like one or two or three pens? Where do you put them? How do you keep them? How do you keep them from getting damaged, scratched? You name it. The most popular way of keeping your pen safe um, when you're not physically using it is to have them in a pen case. And even that is not too simple because there are so many pen cases that you can choose from. Um, there are just kind of single slip ones that are meant for one pen. There are, you know, pencil cases like the ones you're used to when you're in you know, elementary school kind of thing. You know, there's really fancy ones you can get that have like hardbacks. There's big ones you can get. There's really big ones you can get. So how do you know what's right for you? Ultimately, it's gonna depend on your needs, your lifestyle, what you want out of it. Um, you know, if you only own one pen and you are quite content with that, then you may get away with something like this, which is the Aston Leather single case. I'll see if I can get it there. Mm, sort of. You get the little Aston logo. The whole thing is leather. Where did I put my pen? I just have a Lamy uh, Safari here. Basically, you just pop your pen in and you're good to go. Um, you know, you can basically put any pen you want in here within reason. Um, you know, lovers of the Montblanc 149 um, or even like the Jinhao 159, um, those pens are far too big to put in here. You will not be able to. Another single pen idea is something like this. This one you can buy from Franklin Kristoff. You can buy them separately, I believe. But if you're going to buy a Franklin Kristoff pen, then it actually comes with it as a pen case. This is what it gets shipped in inside of a, a little white cardboard box. Um, so that is quite handy because then no matter what size pen you have, it will fit in here very comfortably, zip up, and you are good to go. Um, so that is quite convenient. So this is a company, yes, this is dirty. I'll explain that in a second. This is a company um, that's only in, the, in America. So actually, I do have three pen cases by knock, but this one I'll talk about in a second. Um, so you do have to buy them from the United States, um, which right now is kind of unfortunate for Canada because our dollar is so far in the toilet, no one can see it. So um, anyway, they're really, really durable. Um, and despite the sound that it makes with my nails, um, they do not scratch your pens. So this one in particular is called the Lookout. So it can fit three pens, even the big Gigantor ones. And then it just basically flips in, which apparently is hard to do when you're not looking at it. It does not cover the sides though, like in, in here. So if that's a big concern, then you may not like it. But the stitching goes all the way down to the bottom, which is convenient. And has a little knock co tag. Now, why is this one so dirty? What is it covered in? <laughs> this is wax. <laughs> um, I have a wax tart melt or whatever you want to call it. Um, and it decided to fall over one day and fell onto this case. I was super PO'd until I opened it and realized that all my pens in here, which I actually had some quite expensive ones, were perfectly safe. There's not even a little tiny itty bitty bit amount of wax on it. So that made me happy. And these are durable and I can wash this, but I wanted to keep it dirty just for you guys. The newest knock case that they have right now is called the Sinclair which you can hold in notebooks here. I have a banded Apple notebook. And you can also put in three pens. Um, there's three pen slots. 
but you can actually fit in a whole lot more um, because it does open up quite wide and then it will simply zip closed. So you can fit all kinds of stuff in here. Um, the Sinclair is the same price as the Lookout. Um, no, this is $35 American, uh, which right now works out to be about 48 Canadian. This is $20 American, um, which works out to be $28. So those are the like three ones. And then the other knock one I have is this. This was the one that was also 35. This is the Brass Town. So basically you pop in your pens anywhere along here. Come on now. You roll it up, you stuff it inside the pen case, which is also kind of convenient if you want to travel like around with any um, like accoutrement, like wax seals. You could put um, silicone grease in here, you could put extra converters in here, a little bit of extra ink in here. You zip it up and you are good to go. Um, I don't like to put my super expensive pens in here, um, mainly just because of the roll-up feature. It's not as secure, um, but it is certainly handy if you've got, you know, a lot of traveling to do and you need to take a lot of stuff. Um, so I quite enjoy this one. Don't use it as often though. The last three pens case that I have is also the most expensive one that I have. Um, from Visconti. The name kind of speaks for itself. Um, so it just looks like this and on the back is a very brief, my camera can't do diddly squat, I'll overlay photos. Um, and a zipper. Mm, also can't. Like I said, I'll, I'll put photos. Opens up like this and inside has some pens. So this is the Franklin Kristoff Model 66, which I've already reviewed. Um, so you can see how giant it is. Um, again, this will fit pretty much anything. I like this one a lot, actually. This one's the one I use most often. Um, it has dividers in between all three pen slots that go all the way down to the bottom. And it zippers closed. So that I can't go anywhere. I like this one because it has a hard bottom and a hard out, like outer shell. Um, so it's not malleable like anything else. Um, so if you're going anywhere, you're putting it in a backpack, um, anything like that, and you do have a little bit more valuable pens, you want a little bit more protection, then something like this that's hard um, is going to be a lot better for the crush factor. Um, that said, this bad boy is $95 American, so that works out right now, um, like I said, with our crappy dollar, um, to $130 Canadian. That's steep. It's definitely steep. But, like I said, it's one of my favorites. I use it all the time. Even when I'm just chilling in, in at home, it's just where I happen to store the pens that I'm using. Um, and just kind of keep it on my desk. But this is definitely my favorite. Now, if you've got way more than three pens and you need to travel, you know, to do whatever, you can get larger ones. This is also Aston Leather, so it's the same company that makes this slip. Um, and this is a 10 pen case. So if you open this up, you can put 10 of these bad boys in here. Um, and they'll pretty much fit, if I can keep this open, any pen, even this big bad boy here. This one is convenient um, in the sense that it has two bands. Ooh, white out there, lighting. Um, so it will keep your pens completely straight. Um, so there's no chance of it like knocking into each other. And it has this guy here, which you could put like a business card or something into. Um, but what's convenient about that is that it protects your pens from the two different layers. And then it zips up all the way for secure travel. Um, this one is also not too cheap because it is, again, real leather. Um, so vegans, I'm sorry. 
Um, it's from $64 US prices, which works out to about $90 Canadian prices. But what do you do if you still have more than 10 pens that you need to carry around with you at the same time? Well, then you can jump into something like this. This is massive. Um, this is by a company called Monteverde. Also zips all the way around. Most of the big ones do. Um, not all of the three pens do, but even most of them that I've seen, if they at least don't have like a flap that gets like secured in, they usually have zippers. Um, anything like the twos or, or single pens usually don't have a zipper, but this gets zipped all the way around. Boom. <laughs> so you can see I definitely use mine quite a bit. So you can actually see the imprint in like the velvet that they have in here. Um, I don't think it's actual velvet, but um, that do leave the imprints. This one, unlike the Aston, um, let's see if I can put it in there, does not have the double uh, bands. I guess to save on size and maybe cost, I don't know. Um, but this one only has one. So depending on where you keep your pen in the actual loop, they can slide around and hit each other a little bit. Ultimately, that's not a huge deal um, if you're not, you know, rock climbing or something. Not that you would take this rock climbing anyways. But come on, lighting, jeez. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, it's not a huge, huge, big deal, but if you've got like, you know, thousand dollar pens in here, um, uh, it may be, it may just be, um, this one is 38 case or 40 case. Pause. Math tells me this is a 36 pen case. Um, so you can fit 36 pens in here. Um, so as you can tell just by all of these, it's really going to depend on your needs um, for what you want. Personally, I like something like this. Zips closed and has a hard exterior um, that's going to protect whatever pen I have in there, whether it's you know a $3 Jinhao or whether it's a $1,000 Visconti. Like, it doesn't really matter. They're going to get the same protection level. Um, if you want something more durable, you know, kind of bendy, um, then, you know, where did my other one go? Something that can really take a hit. Um, then something like this may be perfect. Um, I really do enjoy this. I just have to clean it. <laughs> then that may be perfect for you. Um, if you've got odd size pens, you may want to look into something like this. It's just kind of like a zippered pouch that you don't have to fall victim to just having that one slot. Um, you know, if you only want one pen to carry around that you want to protect, this is all that you need. There's so many different choices for you because there's such a different variety of pen users out there. We all have different needs, even though it's just, you know, carrying around pens. We all have different requirements for them. Um, so I kind of like that there's that much choice. Um, best advice to you is to figure out how you want to use it. Do you want something that's like more durable like this? Then maybe start looking at something like that. At the end of the day, any case is going to be better than no case when you're traveling. Um, at home, if you're not going to really take your pens anywhere, um, or if you're just not really concerned, like if you've got, like I said, really cheap ones like the Gin House, you don't even necessarily need some if you're totally okay with it getting banged up. Hope you liked this video. Um, quick little video about pen cases. If you have any specific questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I will answer them. Um, if you want kind of an up close look at any of them in particular, let me know. I may try and do some spotlight on my Instagram or Twitter, which is just pens and tea. Um, and if I get enough requests for like one in particular, I can also do a detailed review of one rather than just kind of a quick overview. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're returning, thank you so much. If you're new, welcome. And uh, as always, I'll see you next time. Cheers.
<clears throat> get that frog out of your throat. Get that frog out of your throat. <clears> throat> okay. And then the prospect of just cleaning them all is like draining. <laughs> Because I'm lazy, people. Let's get real. Um, 